We continue now as I offer, through my words, a prayer that is designed to unite our hearts together as one heart and one mind as we are worshiping. You will see that I will offer cues during the, during the prayer, and I invite you to reply as printed in the bulletin. We look out the windows and we see a stunning fall day in New England. The beauty of a blue sky and the bright sun. And while, yes, it's colder outside, we have the privilege of gathering in a warm sanctuary to be united together, to be reminded of the God who loved us first, to be reminded of the God of the universe who is all-powerful, all-present, but most important, all loving. For the gift of your presence this morning in worship, together we praise God. God. And as we praise your name, we are reminded always of the qualities that reflect your very nature. We've already begun to review in our minds and our hearts just some of those qualities. But in particular, we are reminded that truly every good gift is given to us from our Father in heaven. And so we as your children, both individually and especially gathered together in your name, want to praise you and thank you for the good gifts that we have. We praise you and thank you for the sufficiency of the resources that empower us so that we have homes to live in, food to feed our families. For these good gifts, together we praise God. God. And as we praise you for our daily bread, for the protection that our own homes provide, we continue also to praise you, especially for our families. We praise you because of the families and the love that we do experience. We praise you and thank you because we know that our families don't have to be perfect because none of us are perfect. And yet, we continue to strive to truly love one another and to love our families. Therefore, we seek your guidance always as we praise you with thanksgiving for the families and that we would bring love into our homes. Lord, hear our prayer. Asking for love, we think also of loving our neighbors. Those are not only our literal neighbors that we call by name, our neighbors that perhaps we know specific ways that we can help them, support them, and encourage them, but also the neighbors that we call the human race around the world. Renew within us on this Thanksgiving Day as we praise you for the blessings in our lives to look for active ways of loving our neighbors. Lord, hear our prayers. And we know that loving can be offered in many different ways. Supporting institutional love, organizations that help those who are most vulnerable. Loving by encouraging and spending time with one another. Loving as we pray for the leaders of our nation and the leaders of the countries around the world as all the challenges of our world come crashing in day after day. And sometimes we say, Lord, how much can we bear? And yet you give us the grace and the strength to be sufficient for each day. And we look at our world and we ask that truly justice would reign. That those who are in positions of power, whatever level, whether it's nationally, internationally, or within local communities, especially, would look for ways of justly supporting those who need help, of taking care of one another as neighbors. This is our request as we pray in your name. Lord, hear our prayer. And again, we know that there are those within our church family that continue to seek your healing, to seek wisdom for their doctors, to be restored to health and vitality. And just some of the people that we call out by name are reflected in the following. 
Nancy M. Dory. Tyler. Joy. Gracious God, the list goes on, but those are the names that I want to lift up at this time. May each one of us commit within our lives and our hearts and our routines at this moment to continue to pray for those people that you know that are anticipating surgery, that are recovering from surgery, that are continuing with treatment, whether it's for cancer or some of the illnesses that are hitting people hard in this season and those struggling with COVID. We lift them up and we pray for healing. We pray for your abiding presence and care. And that as we pray and as we minister to one another, that all that we pray for would know your personal presence in their lives. And that they will be at rest, knowing that you love them, care for them, as we pray for healing. Lord, hear our prayers. Having praised your name, having presented our petitions before you, we now unite our voices together as we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples when we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 